I guess in, in the last five minutes, sure. um, I wanted to ask, you know, in your intro, you mentioned that you grew your chess education startup to over a million users. Mm -hmm. uh, love to hear, you know, how did you do that? Sure. Okay. So yeah, uh, my focus was on was on growth. I looked at a few different channels. Um, I always name all the different channels. We had organic, we had paid, we had social, we had content, and we had viral were our different channels of growth. I can start with the basics. Organic uh, was simple SEO. I, ba I basically looked at what people were searching, the least competitive keywords to optimize for, and I just created a bunch of shit around that to put point to us. So we would optimize for like learn chess or learn chess for free or like, you know, stuff like that. So that was pretty straightforward SEO. Paid was kind of the same, but we actually didn't spend a whole lot of money on paid because we were getting enough traffic through the other channels. But that's also basically pretty much the same exercise, figuring out what keywords to bid for and, and so and so forth. Um, content <clears throat> was, I wrote a bunch of blog posts targeted towards um, beginner chess players of like what I thought the fundamentals for learning chess were. And I would post that to, I would actually hijack chess.com's front page and post my blog and cross link back to my site um, where they got a lot of traffic, got a lot of views. I would basically go to write my blog post. They had no, they had a counter um, to determine how popular a post was. And if a post was popular enough, it popped to the front page. So I just sit on my front page on my post and just hit refresh like a thousand times. And then it would pop to the front page. And that's how we generate a lot of traffic that way. Social was basically linking this to our, to our social accounts. So I'd post on Facebook. I'd post on Twitter. I use a tool called Buffer to kind of like uh, to queue up posts ahead of time and have like a, them put, being posted in regular cadence. Um, that's content and social. And then viral, uh, I focused on two things, uh, on like two, on one specific kind of community. I focused on Reddit and I focused on Hacker News because those are both populations of people who think they're smart. So they like to play chess. Uh, so what I would do is on Reddit, I would um, create viral scenarios. Uh, have you heard of the subreddit Best Of? Uh, where they link to like very popular Reddit comments? I would have like my co-founder or something post a question um, in like our chess and I would go answer it in like a very in-depth, very detailed written in the way that you expect the best of like very long. Hi, I'm an expert here. Just my opinion. Oh, throwing in like an edit, et cetera. Like how to like do that sort of thing. And then I would have a third account post it to our best of with like national chess champion shares his thoughts on how to get better at chess, quick baby, et cetera. And we actually worked super well, um, on Reddit. We did that four times. And then the last viral thing was actually posting on hacker news saying like, teenagers start like uh create a chart like free chess site or something like that or like learn chess for free or like stuff i did some research on the best time to post the best verbiage the language to use that got the most clicks etc and then i would we posted on hacker news a few times and posted from third party accounts too but so that, those are the different channels that we that we funnel growth in yeah really and then we did so, some like uh viral hacks here and there like for example in 2014 the world chess championship happened so I streamed it live on Chess Academy and I like provided live commentary. We did things like that once every so often to do like a viral stunt.